Welcome back, Hurricanes, to the latest installment of Grove Watch TV News. I'm Malia Rosado Yates. And I'm Genesis Vicente. And, and happy, happy Thanksgiving! Thanksgiving! Here we go! Soccer season has officially kicked off. Unfortunately, our girls lost to Lake Worth 6-1, and our boys lost to Boca Christian 7-0. But as Robert G. Ingersoll once said, the greatest test of courage on earth is to bear defeat without losing heart. So be sure to cheer them on in the girls' game against Port St. Lucie at 5 p.m. and the boys' game against Jupiter Christian at 7 p.m. here at Inlet on the 26th. Speaking of sports, want to support our basketball team? Then why not adopt a hurricane? For 25, you'll get a basketball t-shirt, a photo with the player on the Hurricane Athletics website, and the opportunity to wear the player's jersey on game day. The funds will go to pre- and post-game meals for the team. Another great way to support is simply buying one of the players a Gatorade or snack when you see them, check in on them, show your support, and of course, come to the games. They have a home game against American Heritage Del Rey Tuesday the 27th at 7 p.m. Here's a returning player, Jermaine Sims. Last year's team performance was really well. Uh, they placed second in districts, which was really, really good. The way I think the team can improve is if our players have a little bit more experience and just work hard overall. This year's lineup is really, really, really good. I have a lot of hope in them. I have a lot in us, as a matter of fact. I have a lot of hope. Uh, this team has come a really long way, and I keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. The way I will contribute to the team is by my shooting and my length. So overall, like I said, my shooting. My shooting is really well. Our medical students run the media center on Tuesday the 13th during second, third, and fourth period for a lab activity with scripts to learn about biomedical. Here with a recap is Janine Dada. Three speakers from the Scripps Labs came to talk to the medical students about medicine and gel electrophoresis. Gel electrophoresis is when electrical energy is used to separate molecular phases by the mass and polarity. This research allows for scientists to analyze DNA, RNA, or protein samples from various sources in order to test for genes associated with a particular disease. Students were allowed to experiment with the chemicals brought in and were even offered internships after the session. Hurricane Drama Club Troop 6946 performed their district competition acts for Mr. Lopez on Tuesday the 13th. They'll be going off to competition December the 1st, so to raise money, they'll be selling Otis Spunkmeyer food now till the 26th. The food ranges from cookie dough, cakes and pie, pizza, soup, onzi ands, and much more. The food will be delivered the last week before Christmas break, so it's the perfect gift for any relative or fun activity to do with the family. It's more than plenty to feed everyone. After all, the best way into people's hearts is through their stomach. So be sure to see any Drama Club members or Senorita Wiggins to check out the options. Be on the lookout for videos of their performances on a later date, but for now, here's a little teaser. The workload for students varies depending on their classes, but for those who take Mr. Miller's digital info tech class, their plates are piled high. In that one class alone, students work hard in order to pass certification from Microsoft Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, as well as complete their online internet safety, STEM, and financial literacy classes. How are students able to accomplish so much with only 90 minutes every day? Well, Mr. Miller allows students to check out laptops in order to complete assignments at home if they don't have computers of their own. Three of those laptops were donated by Kim Commando from Commando.com, a radio program. This next segment is dedicated to her. Hurricanes, thank you. Hello, my name is Terrica Joseph. My name is Jorge Garcia. My name is Kaya Paris. My name is Lucha Joseph. 
I use it for Jasper Active, I use it for Geometry. We're behind on some work, we can finish our work at home. I benefited taking the laptop to my house to catch up with the students because that taking the laptop home has definitely helped me. Help me. Help me get Microsoft certified, PowerPoint certified. I'm about to be Excel certified. Like if I ever miss anything, I can always go back, take it home with me, and study for it. It's helped my grade a lot because I could caught up on all my work at home. All my grades went up once we were able to take them up. I went from a C to an A. Before I started going home with it, I always had C's and D's. Now it's A's and B's. So now that we have laptops, I'm able to take it home and like do everything I can be, so now my grades can still be up. Thank you, Commando. Thank you, Commando. Thank you, Commando. Thank you so much, Commando. This laptop is amazing. You know them, you love them. Back with another movie review, it's Jana and Lori. Hey guys, it's Lori and Jane, and we're back at it again with another movie review. This week, we'll be doing a movie review on the movie Superfly. So Lori, tell us, what did you like about the movie? What I liked about the movie is how he attempted to stop his bad ways and live a good life. What did you like about the movie, Jaina? What I liked about the movie was how it was funny, and I liked the movie's playlist. Lori, what didn't you like about the movie? What I didn't like is how he got into an altercation with his best friend. What didn't you like about the movie? What I didn't like was how his second girlfriend was killed off. So Lori, what rating would you give this movie? I'll give it three stars. And I'm going to give it four. All right, catch it on Movie Box, guys. See you guys next week. That's all, folks. Tune in next week for more updates.